from the Duke City to the show. Albuquerque's own Mitch Garver has been making some noise during the, this playoff run, and Ron caught up with his college coach and his mama. Bethany, it's been a great run. Mitch Garver wasn't a household name when he got to the University of New Mexico, but he sure is making a name for himself with the Texas Rangers. I think this is the greatest draft class that UNM has ever produced. It's unreal to think about. Unreal describes the baseball journey that's carried Three, Mitch Garver from Albuquerque Garver. all the way to the World Series. Ten years after finishing a decorated baseball career at UNM, Garver's playing a key role as a designated hitter in the Texas Rangers' pursuit of a first-ever title. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's like a Cinderella story. For Mitch's mom, Gail, and the rest of the Garver family, this baseball fairy tale is coming true. My husband and I were there for most of the games. He came home on Saturday, and my boss was kind enough to say, you stay and finish that out, Gail. And she did, watching her son deliver key hits like he has throughout his life. And this postseason ride has even given Gail her own opportunity of a lifetime. Super in exciting, you know, to fly on the plane with the wives and, and you're treated so well. And For Mitch, even getting to the big leagues was a journey in itself. A soccer and baseball star at La Cueva High, he got no college offers to play baseball. Then legendary Lobos coach Ray Birmingham, who'd known Mitch since his youth, stepped in and invited the gifted catcher to walk on at New Mexico. I think the only thing I really had to really continue to give him was the confidence that he could do this, that this could happen. So much so that he left the mark as one of the greatest Lobos of all time, becoming Mountain West Co-Player of the Year as a junior and senior, before realizing a dream by being drafted in the ninth round by the Minnesota Twins in 2013. You could see that his parents, that they'd given him discipline and respect and, and appreciation. Um, you know, he was proud to wear the Lobo uniform. He was a leader. Eventually, he became the leader that carried us through some championships and made it happen. And it was Birmingham who helped make it happen one evening when Mitch came to him about a life-changing decision. So he called me. He says, Coach, uh, I got a favor to ask. And on a snow-covered baseball field, the coach brushed off home plate, switched on the lights, and Mitch asked his college sweetheart to marry him. Today, he and Sarah are the parents of a two-year-old son with another baby boy due after Christmas. Coach Ray Birmingham, who did attend the ALCS, is watching the World Series from home, where he's rooting like crazy for the kid he's long considered a winner to show everyone he's a champion. Bottom of the ninth, game seven, Garver at the plate, bases juiced, Rangers down by three. There's the pitch. That's got a chance. It's going deep left field. It's out of here. The Rangers win the series. Garver homers. Perfect. You know, we were both there, Bethany, for the coach. He is so energetic and so excited, just like the family. And Gail Garver says this experience is even sweeter because of the grueling road Mitch had to travel through the minor leagues, hardly making any money, not knowing he'd get this chance. So many few, so few players have to play in the World Series uh, for the Texas Rangers. Game two coming up tomorrow at 6.